My name is David Jackson, and I suppose I'm a poet, or sometimes I wear the hat of a rapper, or a spoken word artist, depending on the setting, uh, but mostly I just do stuff with the word. I'm standing at the bank of a river's edge, and I'm staring at this strange rectangular box dropped amongst the rocks of the riverbed. Now I'm aware that this square is a cavity block, but at the same time it's not. This riverbed block represents something else. You see, the other rocks are pure soul. Every stone rolled from the mountain top. They're caught up in the current of life, cracked under the sun and crushed under the ice. The flow makes them discover inside by slowly stripping away, reshaping their size. It's a very challenging time in the world with so much conflicting things going on. It's a real challenging time to say anything and not be chucked in a box or tarred with a brush, you know, to just be able to speak your mind. Yeah. So I find it's, I like that, I like that challenge because it's like trying to say what I want to say and what I feel like saying yeah. from my own perspective. But when you look into, when you really like delve into any cultures, mythology or old traditions, you just start to see the connections between all of it, you know. I don't know what that means. Does it mean that we have like some baseline connection that's universal? I don't know. But everything has seemed to bubble out into similar stuff. It seems like only when we change with the rhythm of decay does any living take place. Without it, we are caged in this hollow grey block where the spectrum of chaos and order is lost. We maintain our colours through our circles of trust who don't trust circles outside of the box. Maybe they're scared of the square, because they get cornered a lot. But this life is a river with no borders or stops. Returning home to the ocean, we all are the one drop. I'm Catherine Cunningham, and I am a songwriter. That's my thing. Uh, some of it's sort of spoken wordish, so it's, I think I slid in on that merit today. Well, I got me a ticket to yesterday. Just a couple of scenes I wanted to replay. One or two things I thought I could say a little different. The conductor came around looking for my fare. Said if I was you, I wouldn't go there. But I'm not you, so I don't care. Sit back and enjoy the ride. Cause we are all just traveling here. Yeah, we are all Lally. I'm originally from Tullamore, moved down here five years ago to Skibbereen. Um, I'm a professional speech writer, wedding speech writer and oration coach and spoken word artist. So it's inevitable, they say, that we'll pass on some normal day. Clockwork grinding heart will stop. Something in your brain goes pop. Your life will flash before your eyes, but never time. She never dies. And like I saw uh, a poll there during the year of what, you know, the top 10 essential jobs and the non-essential jobs. And the top of the uh, non-essential jobs were artists. And that was in the Irish Times. And I was just like, do you know what? You try and get, try and get through a lockdown without an artist. Try to try, try get through one day with no music, no videos, no movies, no television series, no poetry, no songs, no music. And you tell me then that if you tell me then if uh, art is starting important. For me, for me, sitting down to write something is is freedom. It, like it, it really is to be able to write what you want, to be able to say what you want. I think is is uh, a freedom that that uh, you know some people that never they never experience that. You know, they, a lot of people live and die with the with the music inside them, and I think that. Um, I think to be able to sit down at a computer or get, grab a pen, grab your paper, um, there's great liberation in that to be able to to express your feelings, to express your emotions, to say how you're feeling. And, and I think if more people did that, you know, as, as regards the beginning, they would see that uh, 
that that when you when you do have a voice that things aren't the end of things things are only often only the beginning of things thank them all and love them all and tell them they are magical it wasn't them that it was me it isn't fair that's life you see so make the most of giving time don't sweat or pet the life of dime and have and hold and wholly cherish and boldly go the day you perish thank you very much